got all these apples up on these trees here. I'm going to pick some. They're really starting to fall now. I'm going to pick some, put them in a bucket, and we're going to go down and feed them to the cows. We'll see what cows come up to us. Just from the looks of here, it looks like all the cows are uh, taking it easy. They're enjoying all this cool weather we've been having. Let's go up to them, see how they're doing. On my way over, I'm checking the minerals. Looks like they still got some in there. We're good in there. All right, let's walk up here and see how they are doing. Hi, girl. Where's old Mr. Bull at? I've got some apples. If anybody's interested. Uh, it looks like they're having a nice, easy day today. They're probably all full. I've been starting to feed a little bit of hay to them. But I'm going to be chopping some hay. That's what I'm going to give to them here in the next couple of days. Some hay chop. Looks like we got some t real tired ones. Does anybody here want an apple? Anybody at all? How about you? No? Boy, look at that guy right there. He was zonked out. That's Mr. Bull. Is that you, Fergs? Go see how he's doing. Hey Ferg, how you doing, bud? You doing okay? Hey Ferguson, I got a question for you. Are you gonna miss me when you're gone? This is your last year here with the girls. You did a good job last year and this year. What do you think, bud? You gonna miss me? I know. I got an apple for you. Here, Ferg. Ah, he's not interested in the apples. He goes right to the bucket, though. I threw one on the ground for him. There he goes. He got an apple. Yeah, Ferguson, he was the main bull last year, and he bred all my cows. I only had him running. But this year, I've got another bull, and his name's Phil, and those two have been working together. So Ferguson, he's going to have to leave this year because I've got his calves out here from last year. So he's going to have to go. Phil can stay because this is his first year breeding. So, but all these calves that you see came from Ferguson. He's very fertile. Come here, girl. Let me give you an apple. Go and take it. That's it. Good girl. These cows here, these red ones, are limousines. So I mix Angus and limousine, and I got a few Herefords. Go ahead, girl. You want another one? There you go. Those red cows are really nice. What do I got over here? 
Hey, you want an apple? Here. Go on. Got to get it from my hand. There you go. Good girl. You want one? Feels like it's Halloween already. Trick or treat. You want, a, you want another one? Oh, yeah. They're all coming in on it now. They're all looking good. Yeah, how you doing, bud? All right, here's my other bull. His name's Phil. And that's the one we got. We called him Phil because we got him from Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania. And he's right here. And he's the one that bred these cows with Fergie this year. So he'll stay on the farm next year. And then after next year, we'll have to get rid of him. Here's an example of one of the steers that we've got. Well, it's actually a bull right now. We're going to turn it into a steer. But these are the calves. They're probably 500 pounds right now, 450. There's some that are a little bit bigger. I'm just going to have to walk away from this bucket. Pretty soon they're going to be weaned. Um, we're going to wean them, separate them in the barn area, and then we're going to take them some to the auction. He's hungry. So we're going to we're going to have some go to individuals, some go to the uh, processor. We're going to raise about, oh, 12 to 15 steers. We're going to keep separated, put them in the barn, feed them real good. So here's an example of a, here's a Hereford Angus mix right there, the white face. They make pretty good beef right there. You got the Hereford and the Angus. Very nice. It's amazing. Some of these calves, they come out dark red or red, and then they turn black, you know, as they get older. There's China. How you doing, China? Good girl. And there, there's another limousine, and that's her calf right there, 102. He's got a hurt front leg, but it's getting better. Boy, it's so nice to walk around here, and there's no flies. The temperature right now is about 50 degrees, and they're loving it. They're taking it easy. You don't have to keep swatting at them. But yeah, these leaves around here, they're really changing quick. Really quick. They're starting to fall off pretty good now. A lot of the acorns are dropping. Here in Pennsylvania, they have uh, archery season now for deer. So that's what's going on now. But... For what pasture I have now, they're going around, they're getting what they can. They're probably eating some of these leaves and acorns, what have you. Pretty soon I'll be shutting the gates, taking down the solar fences, and I'll be putting them up in the barn area. How's it going, bud? Yeah, you're nice. I don't have a cattle scale right now, but I'm going to get one when I put my chute in. So it'll be nice to see what these guys weigh. Right there's marshmallow. 
that one right there and spunky that cow right there is marshmallow's mom and she's coming right at me she wants an apple <laughs> i don't have any more apples you guys took them all they're in that bucket over there yeah she's hereford and angus mix what's up there spunk huh good girl yeah i don't have any apples you got to go over there and get them. I'll get you some later. Yeah, I'll get you some later. She's friendly. They're mostly all friendly. Except when, you know, they're starting to have their calves. You know, I've gotten, you know, oh, I've gotten kicked and run over and bucked and everything else but when they have calves look out you got to respect that though hey what's up girl good girl i don't have any apples no that's a limousine she's following me around <laughs> Come on, girl. Right here, this is an older Hereford cow. She's on the small side, but I tell you what, she has thrown some really nice calves. This cow right here. How you doing? Yep, she's taking it easy video of some more nice feeders here I'll start feeding corn oh probably the end of November silage right now they're basically getting hay and then the ones that I put in the barn area that we're going to keep for steers we're going to make feed all winter long. I put corn and I put uh, oats, soybeans, and minerals. And I mix that all together and that makes a really nice feed for them. Hi, girl. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. So right now, they're basically just mingling around. Getting what they can. I can't believe it's the beginning, or going towards the middle of October already. But, you know, time flies. How you do, girl? There's another lemo. Yeah, good girl. Those are really good mothers right there. Over here, we've got Haven. And that's her calf right there. He just got done getting some milk. But yeah, those feeders, they're getting pretty big. Pretty soon we'll be uh, separating them. And I think these cows know that it's almost that time. You know, those calves, they sort of run these cows down. But once I separate them, you'll see these cows, they'll gain a lot of weight. So they're all looking good. Um, every now and then I'll come down, check on them, make sure they're all okay. I can tell they're pretty content because they would be after me to put them somewhere. But they're doing good.
How you doing, 91? Yeah, how you doing, bud? They have a lot of, they got some thick coats on already. Hi, girl. How you doing, buddy? There's a nice one. Yeah. He wants some milk. Hi, girl. Old Fergie. I don't know if anybody's in the Pennsylvania area and they're looking for a nice bull, Ferguson, I'd probably, maybe in about a month, I could get rid of them. I'm pretty sure all these cows are bred because I haven't seen any of them jumping. And I haven't seen Ferguson going crazy, so... But yeah, he's been a nice bull. I'm going to miss him.